Hello, America. What's up, everybody? How are you doing, my friend? Huh? How are you? Did you miss us? Do you love us? Did you follow us? Huh? Huh? No, you don't, because we still at the same goddamn subscribers. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Naturally Fine Entertainment Podcast. I am your co-host, Cleo. This is my uh, my co-host, Deronte Jenkins. You can follow us on Instagram at Naturally Funny, Naturally underscore Funny underscore Ent underscore on Instagram. If you click on that link in the bio, which is our link tree bio, if you can click on that. You can find my Instagram page, which is at Street Mafia underscore Big underscore Sleezo. My Twitter, which is at L Boogie three one three zero four. Or you can find you can find me at uh, Dirante Jenkins on Facebook, Dirante Jenkins on Instagram, Virgo Rock on uh, shit Snapchat, and um, and uh, follow us on uh, Naturally Funny Ent on Twitter. If you ain't say that already. Excuse me today, if I seem a little out of it, I'm in pain, but I do this for the people. So I'm here. For the people! We do it for you! I'll be right back. Right back, nigga, what All right, two seconds. Talk to him. Yeah, well, he's in pain. You know, after 35, shit starts hurting. Shit hits different when you, after 35, so his back a little fucked up. So if he making, like, you know, sexual noises, he in pain, so... Just ignore that shit. He's he's hurting real bad. So yeah. Yeah, he'll be all right. Yeah. I, I, I wish they could have saw that shit. No, and I'm I'm bad. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Especially like when we heard you in the back. Yeah, okay, baby. Yeah, that's my baby. I'm a father first, nigga. Father first. All right. So welcome to today's episode. Episode 29. 29, 29, 29. Without you guys, we wouldn't even be at 29. So we thank you for all the support that we are getting. Not just him. And the views. We got a Daryl Brown Productions uh, film and all the other good shit. You say not just him. Why do you say not just him? I mean, not just, not just them. We got to add him, too. Don't do that. No, I mean, but without the fans, it wouldn't be nothing. You was taking away from the fans. I'm not taking away from the fans. That's what but I'm we got to give him credit, too, nigga. Yeah, we, we was twerking on phones and iPads yeah. and, and what's the other shit? Uh, tablets. I was giving the fans. They just do. We I love all of y'all. We love all of y'all. We really not do. Behind the scenes credit. That's what you was doing. I know, we know what Daryl do. He's very vital part of this. Kind of, this right. This, He's NSP for life. And he from the mo. Yeah. And if you don't know what Bright Mo is, but, go to YouTube and look up Bright Mo. But, that's that's and, where we hail from. And this You're moment, welcome. And this moment. <laughs> so don't play. And this moment, fuck Daryl was talking to the fans. No Damn! Dis- no disrespect. You know that I I want this nigga pick up and go. You then we I mean, fucked. Then you know, we back on the phone. You know what I mean? With the most up love. Respectfully, I meant that. Fuck Daryl. Damn! I just fuck. And, and, anyway, uh. Shit! <laughs> it's about the fucking fans. It's about the fucking guys out there watching us. I do a damn, dog. Well, you know we love him. I know. I'm just happy he ain't pick up. Like fucking cut. I'm out of here. You fucking guy. Anyway, uh, you know how much love I wrapped around that fuck you before I gave it to him. That was a lot of love. That respectfully shit is is is. I said you get people vital, vivido. I said all them big words that mean something about. Him being the heart of it. And then I said, fuck you. See, I'm like, butter it up. To give you all the credit. <laughs> Dog. Uh, so, um, the kid shit started. What are we going to start off at? All right, hey. Oh, okay. Hey, the weather's getting hot. And I see you niggas are getting plenty of Remy with these stimmies. Are y'all tripping, man? How <laughs> <laughs> what? They getting plenty of Remy with them stimmies. All right, listen, y'all is tripping hair and looking. You forgot y'all, about them dumbass lashes. Oh, never mind. Last time I said some of my lashes. Hey, look, two I dislikes. I don't care what y'all do with y'all money. You know what I'm saying? As long as y'all get something for y'all kids with some of the money, that's cool. I know niggas gonna do what they do with their little stimmy. 
what they're spending on what they want to spend it on, you know what I'm saying? So, and if you've been working and you're getting it, it's just some extra money to spend on you and the kids, you know what I'm saying? So, on I your guess, kids? You ain't got to spend all 14 on them. Because you is raising the motherfuckers and you don't get paid for that. Motherfuckers? Raising the babies, the children's. Man, that's little motherfuckers. Hey, listen, I, I got one. That's Come on, little, Kirk Franklin. Cut the little, shit. Them some little curb snatching motherfuckers. Come man. on, Kirk. Because think about it. You wouldn't have to work for real. Like, if you had a way to take care of yourself, like, just be self-efficient without working, like, you wouldn't work if you had no kids because you got the kids. You got to do all this extra shit. I still would work. You be Nigga, I like cookies. Yeah, but you got to be a parent. You got to, like, fuck? but if you, if you, fi- if you, and yes, a, I said cookies. If you knew a way to eat cookies and live sufficiently without working, you would. I, I like working. Man, if you knew a way to live without working, bro, you wouldn't work. No, I you can't, can't sit, sit here and down. tell me. I can listen, you my papa, okay, you, you know, papa, you, you finish. You can still have you can still have hobbies and activities where you get up and you do shit, but you don't have to actually work a job. You wouldn't work a job, nigga. If I had uh, income coming in, would I have to work? Ain't that what I just said ninety nine fucking times in a different way? You get you a dictionary of this motherfucker, so you know it's officially and all man, that. Man, I push your broke back that ass down, nigga. I'm mad at me because you can't comprehend that the words that I'm speaking. I said, if you had a way with. See, you don't know what the hell you said. I know what I said. You fucked it up. You right. I apologize, brother, because let me put this off to the side. You came real close. I'm about to be a motherfucking repeat of Greek time in this bitch. Mother. We got to stay off of that, too. I said. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta stay away from that one. Uh, you know. Yeah, that me money, man. Y'all, uh, y'all going crazy. Well, hell can't just drove right, <laughs> y'all, y'all going crazy. Y'all going crazy with this STEMI money. Go, go for me for the page, man. We might as well, shit. Everybody else scamming, but we ain't scamming. But we do need equipment. Look at our setup. We need a whole new couch. He need a new bake. I know who? A new I know who? bake. Back. Uh, my bake. bake. It's bike. No, bike. My bike. bad. No, I ain't been down south. <laughs> you, uh, they say bike instead of back, but it's B. They say it B-I-K-E. That's how they pronounce it, B-I-K-E, but they say bike? back. Yeah, bike. What the fuck? Man, my bike hurt, man. Oh, man, come on, that, uh, If I heard... I said back, right? This country is a bike. Oh, hell no. But yeah, uh, what, you want to stick on the stimmy? Well, y'all, y'all, y'all spend that money wisely. Man, my thing with that is, if you got 10 homeboys and all of y'all got that money, y'all can put $1,000 together. Unless you in the house and you need that money for bills or something, then you're going to catch up with that. Too. But you still got extra money you can put towards a building or I'm starting not. some type of business. Niggas That's all I'm saying. Child support might take some of the niggas still. But some of the niggas ain't. Th- no, you can't touch that. I, I just heard. seen. No, nigga, no, no, no. Hey, no. man, you don't fuck around and burn me no, with that damn thing. No, because I just shit. seen that shit. I just read it. It was on the news in another state. Child support took dog, Stimmy, and he went to the crib and beat up his baby mama and the kids. That shit just happened that day. So he beat up the baby mama man. and the kids? Yeah, nigga going to jail for attempted murder and, and, the, and deadly assault. Nigga went up in the crib. He wouldn't fought the kids? Nigga, yeah, they took his 1400 Nigga, he was mad. He wanted some of it. He didn't get none of it. Nigga, he went over there. And they now, got- if he taking care of his kids, then I can. I, I still can't he, understand that shit. Not, fuck that. Yeah, I don't know. But they took shit to us. You might not be in the rear. Shit, they took the first one. I probably, I probably got you together the with that one. was like, yoink. <laughs> I said, oh. like, I got some money. I got about $1,400. Oh, shit, nigga. My, shit, my ex-wife is up now, nigga. Per kid? I, I ain't even bothered to call him. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get one back on $1,300. If you I'm see this. Even, I'm not even about to ask for if, even half. If, well. <laughs> If you watch this, I don't episode, even want to talk about this no more because y'all niggas gonna want to fight me if, if I watch, get to talking. If you watching this episode, Kim, you were always the greatest. Y'all gonna want to fight? You're, you're the best what mother in the world. Who? My just, my know, my children's mothers are awesome. That's all I need. Three hundred, just three hundred. I got I'm, I got half from both. You were the best. No, I know some. You say that shit to some people. Like, you <laughs> you you were the best, Kim. Three hundred. That's all. Y'all I'm literally y'all. If y'all got a good relationship like we that. We got a great relationship. So, Both of them are so, awesome. So half. I mean, that's yeah. Or just keep that 300 and, and use that to pay <laughs> pay for the braces that she got to get next month. And then you ain't got to, yeah. Please. I Can't mean, your situation, that's, that's I got to use the bathroom. Mine's? Nigga. Not, like, not shit I got to piss. I'm not. Uh, I'm not uh, hold on, let me you got to like five times. Put your mic off, nigga. <laughs> <I don't> want... <laughs> right. <laughs> 
It don't sound like that damn Snoop Dogg song. That like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right. That Jen and Juice. This nigga, this motherfucker crazy. I don't know what's wrong with blood today, dog. But nah, uh, nah. If you got, if if yo, if you and your baby mamas, uh, children's mother. I don't say baby mamas. Well, That's like calling them bitches. And they, and they watch this. Okay, well, and they hear you say situation. baby mama. Are like, you going to let that nigga call me baby? I don't do that. In your situation, your children's mother is. Yep. That's, that's, a, that's a great situation. Yeah. But my baby mama, I'm not even. I, don't I know. Even, I don't even I'm want to touch even, that. I'm Every not time. I'm about to even call to be like, uh. Yeah. Where that? You know what I'm saying? Man, she I, look, I look at it like this, bro. And what is it, 14 a kid? I'm plus, not, plus her shit. Yes. At this point, all I know is she better have a whip this month. Not whip, only whip. that, you got your taxes, and you got and you got this pro that money from the government, and with child support that I'm paying. If you don't have a car between now and in like a month or two months down the road. I'm a clown her ass, bro. Like, bitch, you ain't got all this money and you still ain't get shit and you ain't get you a car? I hate we start talking about this shit because it'll always go left. I'm going to go left? I'm just saying. It ain't go left, left. But I wish they could see your damn face because I'm trying not to look. I'm trying to stay funny. here. And you like this, like this. It's funny, though, bro. It's like, when you really think. Can she drive? We're a nigga back in the building. Is she Y'all scared of the, is she work scared work the vehicle? No, her car had broke down. We're so she ain't had no accident. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. It just broke yeah. down. And so now I hope the, I hope that she used that money to. Mike check one, two, one, two. No. Mike check one, two, one, two. I'm back on. I'm back here. Let's get back to it. I'm sorry. Excuse me for being rude today. Mm-hmm. Cross that out. Well, the world is slowly opening back up. I can't wait. I can wait because I'm not about to be around no goddamn body. I, I can't wait because I feel like this was planned. Yeah? This was planned. That's all. And, you know, and I'm thinking that shit too because of the way it's they gave, as soon as they gave this money out, a bunch of shit opened up. Nigga, the world was already opening up. Oh, do you see that shit that Fashion Nova sending people? They tripping. Like, it's a stimmy for me. <laughs> 80% off. That shit is ghetto. You know they had Letitia or somebody come. Hey, Letitia, it's your time to why shine, baby. Why gotta be together? Like, why couldn't be Pam in the marketing or Susan? Whatever the fuck it was, it was a, it Let's was a black stereotyping chick. Stereotyping the black chick. It could have been a white chick that came up with that because she was watching black culture and she appropriating our culture. Oh, okay. Don't stop making it about the black ghetto people all the time. Letitia you need to take your ass back to sleep. You hell of aggressive today. I don't Girl, like that shit. Letitia not just a ghetto man. I'm looking. I out. just said you must I know, know Letitia. Letitia. I knew it. I knew it. I apologize, Letitia's yeah. bars, of the world. Bars in Detroit are open at 4 a.m. Now, I was going to say that. That's not a good idea. I think it is. I don't I think, think so. Great. I don't think so. I think it's great. Because motherfuckers already be driving on the wrong side this, of the goddamn road this at 2 o'clock in the morning. Is, so at 5 be, o'clock, 6 you gonna, o'clock. You're going to get a heavier police presence now, but I think it's great because we're trying to, we're becoming a, hot, a, a pub for entertainment now. So... People want to come here and party. Yeah, we're starting to become a destination. Yeah, this is starting to be like people like to come to Detroit and, and go to strip downtown clubs and go Detroit. downtown. So oh, I was about to say. Yeah, well, you know, people come here to go downtown. So now that we become one of them cities, I think, yeah, you got to keep the bars open a little bit. I think we've been one of them cities. Motherfuckers just ain't never talk about it. Mm, no, I not have recently. <laughs> people didn't want to come here. Well, y'all are missing it's, out. It's somewhere it's, to it's come now because there's a lot of talent here. And when you come here, and the women like, are are lovely. We got the best women in the world. I say I, that. I, I, I done been in California. They got some beautiful women in California, but ain't nothing like a Detroit female. And I say Oakland County too. Y'all some bad motherfuckers. We got some of the finest women mm. in Detroit. Delicious. In the Detroit area. Hell yeah. That if I've seen. Uh, and they real. The you get into it with a motherfucker. They shoot. They scrapping. Yeah, run a nigga over. Whatever. They fighting with you. And if she don't fight, she came from the other side eight mile. I said that. Tuh. Better get you a fight. I think with them doing that at the four o'clock now, the venues that have concerts and shit too, they probably gotta stay up a little bit later. Hmm. That gives more artists in the city a chance to be on the bill to, to a lot for that time. 
So, I mean, I think it's a good thing, you know what I'm saying? Especially for somebody like me that works at a bar, you know, every once in a while, I, you know, if they need my help up there, you know what I'm saying? What's the name of it? Toys, aka, a for you, the new Toys spot. Located? Uh, Finkel and Schaefer. Bam, free I plug. I address by heart. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I love the deal. Um, yeah, go to the next subject. Are we done with the world opening up? Shit, if you ain't gonna say nothing else about it, I ain't. <laughs> No, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing fans in the stands, though. What they doing? I know Michigan doing like twenty percent fans. That shit is weird. She, you know, she's steady gonna loosen us up. Like we can go to Texas though, and that hundred percent we can go to a game. And no mask. No mask. No nothing. Oh, no fuck that shit. Miss it. I'm telling you, bro. I think this shit was set up. The 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 vaccine came fast as hell. Same um, shit I said. Same huh? shit I said. No, go ahead. Same shit I said. Yeah. The vaccine came fast as hell. Um, now they giving this COVID vaccine free because Detroit because I knew once we start opening up it was coming now we becoming a mass site to get a COVID vaccination is free to all adults here, so I knew that was coming with the opening up and letting it stay late and all that other shit. It's just if you pay attention to all, everywhere that they they let they giving this vaccine out is a mass place it's somewhere where it's a hot spot and shit it's like going on. Mentality, yeah, right. Yeah, so it's to the point now. Me personally, I don't want it. No, me neither. Um, but like, it's to the point now. Like this, this black chick at my job. My back hurts. She literally. Was like, <laughs> she, li- she literally was like, "Oh, you get the shot?" I'm like, "No, uh, we can't hang out then." She said, "Bitch, I wasn't gonna hang out with you anyway." But I'm like, "But why does me? If I don't want to get that fucking shot, why should it? But well, you just gonna die." No. Damn. Yeah, like she was just like literally like. I'm like, nah, I've been doing good so far. I think oh, I'm. You a hoe, I think I'm pretty Ooh. good. You got, I thought this was a pack of cherry, two packs of cherry, but it was a tropical type of one. So you rather, so you prefer cherry? Yeah, that's my favorite. What the fuck? Uh, I'm a grateful ass nigga. I said thank you, dog. Can, can I take this and, and give that to him and swap it out? No, he can have it. Fucking cry, baby. I need one. Hey, God sir. damn. I need the perky one. Hey, hey man. <laughs> No, believe me, I'm hurt. Come on, man, go to the show. Because everybody going to be staring at the camera looking at me in pain. So, uh, <laughs> dog, this man. All right, some more bullshit that's going on in the world is this shit with Deshaun Watson. Um, I'm calling the bluff on this. That's some bullshit. I think it's some real straight bullshit because he don't want to be in Houston. They want to give him that money. Whatever the fuck they got going on down there, they're trying to get rid of him. This is the perfect way to get rid of him. We have yet, this man's been in the league for how long he has been in the league? About four and, or five years, and I think. We didn't hear none of this shit, and all of a sudden, he, come on, dog. I just, like, it's hard sometimes for me to believe that these niggas is raping girls because they are. I they didn't say he raped them. Or sexually, whatever. Sexual assault. Is. They said he got seven lawsuits. Listen, and, 12. And now yeah. it's up, no, seven lawsuits, and now it's up to 12 allegations. Yeah, I really... I really think it's some bullshit because the niggas, I know, I I don't get a tenth of the multi-million dollars worth of money that he got, and I can fuck any bitch that I choose and please to. Hey, that female. nigga got money. He could touch any woman he want to because of who he is, bro. I just I just can't believe it. Y'all got to show me the proof and believe me. And I, I get the... the um, me Too movement, all that stuff. I understand the women saying that they got raped, and I don't feel no saying I don't have no feelings. I'm harsh about it. I'm not. I just hard. I find it hard to believe because this happens so often to black athletes where these false accusations come and these claims. And we didn't hear about none of this until the contract dispute and the stuff that's going on. He was something that's a bunch of bullshit. I could be wrong. He could have done this, but I just think it's a bunch of bullshit. It's just coming out the right massage right parlor right at that. Said. So he forced a female to suck his penis. Now, allegedly, she blacked out. not only that, if you force a female, if a female forced me that like, you gonna eat this coochie or sales, I'm biting the shit out that motherfucker. So you can't force nobody to do nothing to your body parts. I'm sorry. She black. She said she <laughs> blacked out from that from him trying to force her to do that. Anyway, dog of Virgo, I know what you're going to say. We don't steal no coochie. 
You a Gemini. Y'all don't steal no coochie. I can go on and on about signs. But I know for a fact. Why can't you say that? We don't we don't steal no we don't steal that. We got a different aura. And it comes to us. I'm telling you. So I I don't know. But I hope you make it about this bullshit. And I'm happy that he fighting and just didn't settle. Because they tried to get some goddamn money. Tried to settle for six oh, figures. Yeah. Y'all had to know some bullshit. Right. Like, oh, you give us money. Oh, fuck that. We go to court. Money won't go to court. That shit crazy as hell. I just find it very interesting that because he doesn't want to be there, that bam, he gets hit. That's the same shit I said. Same shit I said. And they check, man. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Whatever. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna let you out. Yeah. I hope dog get get through that shit. Mm. I really do. Mm. Keep your head up, big fella. I don't know you personally, but uh, then that didn't work done. Get him out. Damn my stomach growl. I want that mic pick that up. God damn. Mm -hmm. It wasn't work done? Got him out? I think that was him. Yeah, who? You trying to watch him Yeah, before oh, he, he was yeah, yeah, I, I think, think that was him. Yeah, come on, man. Maybe somebody. Yeah, it was him. Uh, yeah, well, so where are we at? Um, bouncing around. Well, we can stick to sports. MVP race, basketball. Who you got? James Harden. Right now. Mm. It's looking like the MVP to me. Um, he looks good since he got with Brooklyn. Um, I know it's a lot easier for him over here. We're having fun, too. And yeah. I got a better appreciation for Dog because he ain't doing all that goddamn dribbling. He's still dribbling. But it it's don't easier. look as bad, though. But it's kind of like when Golden State was put together, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you got... God damn. When you got um, two other superstars like that on your team, the shot's going to come easy. It's, it's harder to... It, the shot's going to come easy. Right. They still ain't playing defense, but they look good. They playing better defense. No, they just scoring more points than everybody. Do you think Drummond is going to go there, or are you going to go to meet L.A.? Damn. He'll probably end up with the Lakers. I hope not. I hope so. What, with the Lakers? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I hope this mic ain't picking that up. I gotta eat. <laughs> yeah, he probably should sound like a dying cat. He fit. I think he a better fit with the Lakers. And he get to go over there and start instead of him going to Brooklyn and coming off the bench. Right, who the Lakers. hell would he come off the bench for? Like Griffin. DeAndre Jordan. They should they should have paired them two dudes together and Andre should come off the bench. That's well, what I'm saying. I not 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 uh not dog, but the other DeAndre. Jordan should come off the gonna, bench. Who, they're not. I think they're gonna keep him because him and Blake kinda play with each other, so they kinda got Shit, I, Andre Drummond and Dog played together with yeah, the, with us, with the Pistons. Oh yeah, but they didn't get along together. Yes, I'm they like, did. They played real I good think, together when we first think, started. I think it kinda took away from Andre game too. Um, that's why the Blake Griffin shit, it, it took from Blake Grant too. Blake is a four, Andre was playing a five, but Andre to the back under the basketball player, Blake Griffin is versatile, so it kind of had two bigs sitting in the pan. I, uh, that's why I think, I don't never think it was going to work in Detroit, it wasn't going to pan out. You just had an electric four, and you had a he wasn't, I don't know it was only a matter of time before he fucking fizzled out and them damn injuries was going to catch up. Said the same shit about Chris Paul. Motherfuckers cannot stay healthy. Great players, but they cannot stay healthy. But Ball dog is ball. No, he stay healthy now, nah, but he years. balling in motherfucking well, Phoenix. Shit. You, balling uh, in Phoenix. You, uh, balling. Chris Paul injuries is injuries that a point guard to get. I can see. No, but my thing is, they was always getting injured at the wrong goddamn time. The Clippers were supposed to got a championship, at least made it to the damn uh to the Western Conference Finals, at least. One of them damn years. They had too much talent. And that's before Golden State took off. But they was running into... Probably San Antonio. What, San Antonio? No. San Antonio. Because the Lakers weren't doing shit then. When they had the, when the Clippers had a team, the Lakers did have a, good, a pretty decent team. No, the hell they didn't. They wouldn't make the damn well, playoffs Chris, until what's the name came. Then, then they won a the championship when Chris Paul was with the Clippers. Chris Paul ain't never won no championship. No, but I'm saying the Lakers won a championship while Chris Paul was in L.A., right? When Chris Paul go to the uh, Clippers? I don't fucking know. I don't remember. I'm not. A, I don't follow Chris. No, Paul. last championship LA got. I think it was uh, 12, 13, no, 10. Man. That was the first. They one. got no. They got two of them. They got what's the name one? Oh seven, oh eight. The Lakers won the next two years. So oh eight, oh nine, and oh nine, ten. And Chris Paul should have been with the Clippers then. I don't know if he was with the Clippers and or Blake with uh, what's the name? 
Because Blake Griffin came in 09, him and uh, Curry. What, 09, what, what, 09, 10 season, I believe? He yeah, because Derrick Rose yeah. got drafted before he them, with a them year two, before them. 2011, 2017. Right. Yeah, so he, shit, he was running into, oh, no shit. Because San Antonio won, man, why they was there. San Antonio, Dallas, Miami twice. Um, yeah, he just. Who else won? Yeah. Anyway, I, I kind of got James Harden. And, and B playing, he balling too. Steph Curry, it's a couple. It's, it's going to be tight. But everybody pushing for LeBron to get it. Push for MVP. Mm-hmm. I mean, I hear the argument, you know what I'm saying? If you're the best player in the league every year, how you don't win an MVP? Same shit happened with Jordan. He didn't win every year. He won. Nah, he should have. He won. I don't think them early years in Chicago. Man, he won, won six straight. Well, I'm sorry. He it won was three six, straight. He got six then MVPs, off one. though, right? Finally. How many regular season? He got five regular season MVPs. Maybe five. He got five. I think he didn't get what what the one he came back that year. No, hell no. He came back in like February of uh, '95, I believe. At the All Star All Star. Yeah, so I think that's like the only year he did. I mean, with the early the early years when he was playing Detroit and all that, like edge early right before they started winning championships. No, I don't think he should have won in them years. He just was scoring a lot of buckets. I mean, them teams were like good teams. Yeah, but he got six out of them six championships. I don't. He should have. He had got six beat MVPs. out one MVP, and that was by Karl Malone that year. But Karl Malone had a great year that year. They both did. I think they both was averaging Karl in thirties. Karl Malone had a great. And they both year. averaging thirties. No, he was averaging Check thirty because Jordan got the most points. No, he was averaging thirty. No, single about twenty nine, twenty nine and some no, change. Because Jordan best single season record is the NBA record for most points in the season. Thirty seven, thirty point five. Mm, oh, you talking about oh. So talking about for the season yeah, or so, career? No, you saying what that was averaging a year? He couldn't have been averaging thirty points. The highest toke, the the per, Jordan owns the record for the highest point total in a season per game for in a season at thirty point five points a game, or it's like thirty one point five. No, for he a averaged season. back in the day. I forgot what year it was. He averaged like thirty five or thirty seven. I just was looking at it, bro. Go ahead, brother. Let me pull it up to you. Man, I remember we used to go to comic archives, and that's all I used to do was read the back of damn cards. And 37, it might have been 35 or some shit. Individual season records. And it was in the 80s. When Chicago wasn't doing too much of shit. Oh, that's what. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Okay, you breathing hard as hell, boy. I can't wait for you to feel better. Shit. It's like you got asthma. What was that? Bronchitis or something. I was looking at something. Perverted breathing and shit. I had to find it. I don't remember what it was on. Man, speaking of Jordan. But the most points in the season is Will Chamberlain. I was wrong. Per game. But it was it was it was something about Jordan. Like the point average. Well, 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 we on Jordan. Um, uh, Jordan Jubilee Levens sold over 175 million pairs. I like them. How, right, right. How many? Uh, over 175 million. Is that with just grown ups or is this with kids? Well, I'm sorry. It grossed over 175 million dollars. I'm sorry. Hmm. My bad. Right. Really a lot. I still want some. I really do. I'm mad. Really I forgot like, about them. I want some too. a big too. number for a shoe. Mm. I think for Jordan, that's like a. I guess it's that brand. That that kind, I guess. I don't know. I want some. I mean, you would think that was a shoe that nobody did wanted. not want. Right. Yeah. So I still want them. I got them. I want them. They um. They're just a, a seventy-two and ten. Yeah, with the Jordan on the uh, it's, shoelace it's, thing it's a, on the tongue. It's, it's literally just a black Jordan. Yeah. With all they did was just put a silver jump man on yep. it in yeah. in a clear. Box. Wait, motherfuckers gonna buy it. As long as they ain't Team Jordan. Nobody buy, nobody they, want nobody they sat at Foot Locker. They returned them? Yeah. They returned no, them. Nobody, didn't nobody want them to show Jordan, man. That shit oh, yeah. was I ugly. Mean, they sold, like the kids sold. Right. I was able to get my niece a pair. Okay. But um, as far as, like, really, like, hype. Right. Because the Yeezys came out. The, the bread Yeezys came out around that time. So it killed that shit. Mm. Nobody was really hyped for that shoe. That makes sense. Well... 
Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I thought you was like, man, 175 million. I'm like, shit, the Yeezys make. Yeezys make. Nah, that, that, and they said they didn't been Speaking of Yeezy, shout out to Yeezy. 6.6. 6. Yeah, that was it. Well, I wasn't talking about the shoes. No, he I'm made. A billion he there. is worth $1.3 billion. Now. What the hell are they talking yeah. about? 6.6 6 That's billion. what the deal with Gap is worth. That doesn't mean he gets the whole 6.6 6 billion dollars. It's just a deal worth that he gets. Mm-hmm. With, That's fucked up. On that one that song, he said he used to work at the Gap. Well, he, he's That's a creative shit. designer. Now. That's what yeah, I'm talking about. He's a creative yeah. designer now. So. Mm. But um, he's worth $1.3 billion. Jay-Z is still... Uh, Jay-Z is at one point four after the title of Square Deal. Well, what's the name, Matt? Oh, take that, take that. I don't, I don't know. Puffy probably him, and, uh, billion. him and the doctor. You know, Dr. Jay. They just said a billion even, I think. Yeah. I don't think they like over Jay at one point. Mm. I don't think Jay Z should have sold title. I don't sold know. Title? I think it was smart because all the all he didn't sell it. He sell his his majority stock in it. He still owns it. They did a deal with Square, but out of that deal, all the artists that's on title receive money from receive received it. Like I thought it was the the owners. The yeah, all the ones that got stock in it, like the yeah. original owner guys that had it. So they got stock in it, they got paid off of that deal too. So he looked out for it. Shit, versus did the same shit too. I no, nah, I don't understand the versus thing. So whoever was on versus they, they got, get paid, they yeah. Got paid. But I don't understand oh, for partner real? partner with Triller because the I kinda think the versus wave is dead. Um with the world opening back up, who's really gonna want to watch in versus now? Sit at home and wait for that to come on. Like, and now with Triller, are we gonna get like a TV set with you know what I'm saying? But who, who else is there to go after we've seen they did the greats already? Like, what versus is left? It. I mean, it's, it might be some little verses for like fans of certain groups and people, but. Right. We didn't got Jeezy versus Gucci. I don't care. Yeah, that. I'm like I'm I'm like I'm at a point where I don't really care who does the verses right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got Jada Fab. We got DMX Snoop Dogg. We got some great verses out of that, and so I'm cool on the verses. Um, all right. It was a shooting at a spot in Atlanta. Um, Asian American community is. Of uh, lately has been coming out about racist acts towards them and racist discriminant problems that they're having in their community in the communities now. Um, Jeremy Lynn spoke on it. We had a few athletes speak on it. Um, I, I'm we can say that this started with Donald Trump calling the coronavirus the China disease, and I don't know. Like I kind of. Mm. Uh, the point of this is, anyway, I ain't gonna get too deep into that. I just, hey, listen, let's be equal and fair with everyone. You know what I'm saying? All races. Uh, black people still. All get, races, sexes, genders, all that white shit. People still, everybody love black, everybody. Black people still getting their kicked in by the police on a daily basis. Hell you know yeah. Saying? So if we, if Asians, is, is y'all just beating on color people, uh, people of color, period, it's fucked up. Let's just unite and be together. So I think everybody should be able to smoke weed if we all get high together. You can't. Hate Hell yeah. Nobody and everybody be together anyway. Everybody be fucking everybody. You can't. Even the motherfuckers that, that even the motherfuckers that's racist. Yeah. I yeah. seen, listen, I this motherfucker at my job, I'm pretty sure he don't like Negroes. I'm okay. seeing this motherfucking black girl walk past with ass. And you know what he did? God damn. I said, oh, that ends off. That, that's that. God skip it. You got to talk to the camera. I know. I keep looking. I keep having a conversation. Hey, listen, don't worry about it. That's because I ain't have my medicine in there. Um, Plug. Man, yeah, but he looked at that ass. He said, God damn. And then got God the fuck damn, look at the bugger on that nigger. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's probably what he was thinking in his head. Probably. Well, I wanted to say that, but you know, whatever. I tried to. The little nigga bitch is plump back there. When you do this, can you please do like a <laughs> or some shit like that, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Whoop! Yeah, that, I did the sound effects for you, some bitch. Oh well, in uh, in Anaheim, California, <laughs> it's not funny, but it's funny. But it's not funny. A man was crushed to death. By a vehicle, by a vehicle allegedly trying to steal the catalytic converter. Oh, what's your car? What's your car? Today in Crackhead I, News, that's what he should have said. <laughs> First of all, 
crackhead. Maybe. First of all, I don't know how the fuck you get crushed by a vehicle. My shit got stolen some years back, and they didn't lift my car up at all. They bust my motherfucking window. I pushed my car up about six, seven houses and got busy. Them niggas stole my Cadillac converter out the driveway when I stayed on six miles. Agreed. So how the hell you so? The first day I got that van, nigga, they I parked oh, in the yeah, driveway. They got them niggas got in there with a saw and cut my yeah. shit off. Like a, a sawzall, yeah. yeah. I came, I came out. Sawzall. No, they used a regular saw, nigga. Cause we didn't hear it in the night. Them niggas had a regular. Oh, you ain't gonna hear that motherfucker. Listen. Them motherfuckers that took my shit, you didn't nobody hear. I got up that morning, nigga. Power, that cordless. Like, what the yeah. fuck? I just bought this motherfucker. Yeah, I took that buddy. bitch to the Like, yeah, yeah, Carter, like, ready to go. Somebody took you. It was. I'm sorry, I made it. Arab guy. <laughs> no, I was Arab. It was. It was a Mexican dude. I just made. It. That's how he said it to me. But that was racist. I wasn't racist, but I was. You just, used the wrong goddamn was, fucking. No, that's how it was. I remember I was trying to do it. Yeah, like a no, motherfucker. No, he was like, he was like, um, he was like, I was like, he was like, buddy. I'm like, what's up? He like, um, is that Mexican? He was Mexican. And he said, you, buddy. He Mexicans called me don't buddy. say buddy. He called me buddy. He worked with some Arabs. He, I mean, Arab he motherfucker, Arab. He worked with Listen. Him. I'm from Detroit. No, that's fine. I just had to correct this gentleman earlier. This I'm Arab sorry, guy, Arab. he said something about Arabic. He said, I'm Arabic. I said, no, you're not Arabic. You're Arab. Arabic and I had to check his ass. Arabic he was like, oh, you're right. Dialect. It's a dialect of talk. Exactly. It's the language. Yeah. Arabic language. Okay. God damn you. Anyway. Anyway, it was a crackhead move. And it's it just no goes to show. I'm sorry. It just goes to it show. It was funny, too. You're not, you're not supposed to. California people don't steal Cadillac converters. Lead that shit to Detroit. Because I ain't never heard about nobody getting crushed doing that shit here. You didn't even got no muffler on. That man, motherfucker took my shit. They left the damn safety glass up under my car. Wait, wait, wait. So how did the car... He had to have lifted the bitch up. But I don't understand if the tire's on there. Unless he was fat, motherfucker. They don't have to lift the car up to get under your car. But how in the fuck did he get crushed? Oh, him? Oh, maybe the car... I don't know. Maybe it was on the head. In order to get crushed, you would have to have the tires off the motherfucker, or you got to be heavy. Did it? You got to watch what I say. No, you got to be when heavy. They said crushed. Uh, did it say what he got crushed by the? I said car? crushed to death it's by the vehicle. They found him dead under the car. Now, was he crushed by the tire? Did the car or did the car fall on top of him? Crushed. They said crushed. No, I'm asking. By the did vehicle. you see? Or or, you just, or you probably got caught when he had the car jacked up and the dude. But you don't jack up the car to steal the Cadillac converter. Where you see that at? Look, I need to look that up. He probably jacked the car up, right? And the dude that was on the ground. The dude's car. He probably said, "Oh, you try to steal my shit." Click, boom. Looney tuned his ass. Huh? <laughs> that was on the ground. No, no, no. 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 Oh, Fucking okay. hack me his ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Fucking, fucking road runner cop, coyote, wildy coyote. Oh his shit. Ass. <laughs> fucking stupid. I'm just saying, like, you got no. That motherfucker was murdered. That shit didn't fall. That, that shit didn't crush him on purpose, nigga. He probably got caught in the act, and the nigga dropped the shit on his ass. Oh my god. Sorry. My yeah, mind. yeah, buddy. Oh, didn't crush him. That, that's still. Oh, shit. so uh, the, he had the car jacked up, and the car crushed him like that. See, he don't know what the fuck he's doing. So, so no, that means that the nigga who probably car that was getting his shit chopped probably kicked that motherfucking jack stand and it fucking fell on him. That's what happened. And he probably came out, hey, dude, stole my car. And uh, I just came out and he just landed under there. Bullshit. That motherfucker kicked the jack stand. He, he, he kicked the jack. He kicked the jack shit stand, out there, bitch. I'm sorry. I'm upset. Ain't no way. I'm upset. How, how you get crushed, bro? How you get crushed? That's some stupid motherfucking shit. Like, I, see what you tell me? Look, you jack the car up. You jack it up. You wanted that bitch. First dude, of all. Dude, come out. What the fuck? On some, on yeah. some old Friday. What the fuck? I found him like that. That's that's some that's come some on, stupid bro. shit. He was too he was too heavy to be stealing. Amateur. And too heavy to be stealing. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't no, he for sure wasn't no crackhead. He might have been on meth or some shit, but he wasn't no oh, crackheads. Crackheads can man, I'm just saying, get up. Everybody got these stimmies. Crackheads like, different everywhere, though. Everywhere else, crackheads different, though. In California, they on meth and motherfucking LSD. 
Cause down south, smoking that shrimp shit. I met down south was functional crackheads. Now he was functional. He ain't functional no motherfucking more. I'm just saying, dog was heavy. If he had to lift the goddamn car up to steal that, my car wasn't lifted up. Oh, they just pushed my shit down the street. Where at Nanaheim? Depending on where it was. I was upset. Deal. I thought they stole my shit. I was more mad about my window because I didn't have to get that shit cut off anyway. Thank you, thieving motherfuckers. Okay. Shit. All right. I was mad. I was mad about my window. <laughs> shit. Yeah, bust the shit out my window. And then I had money in there. I think I had, shit, I forgot how much money I had in my uh, center console. But they left a dollar in there. Oh, dirty motherfuckers. Why take the whole damn thing? How did that make you feel, sir? I was mad as hell. Very angry with myself. Yeah, and stole my CDs, too. Tell them why you mad. Right. So you going to steal my Cadillac converter, bust my window out. Keep going. Steal my CDs and then leave me a dollar. Like, fuck a you. A dollar? A dollar. Four quarters? No, nigga, oh, actually dollar buck. bill. It was a green buck. Son of a bitch. Bitches. Fuck them, Durante. That's what I'm saying. Bitch ass nigga. Hey, look, you ever had somebody steal a Bible out your car and you use some condoms? Nigga, what time? Somebody the... broke in my car. They I took all my CDs, took my Bible, and, and left my condoms. So, so maybe they stole, after they stole, they saw the Bible. Maybe they wanted to repent for their sins. That's why they stole the Bible. I guess. Yeah, whatever they do. Happen. And then left the condoms. They left the condoms. And stole the Bible. Stole the Bible. So you stole, you st man, you you can't make this shit up. I just did. Yeah, you listen, can't you cannot listen, make this shit now, up. I call my mama right now. She laugh like, what yeah. I, I, listen, dog. I made a doctor's appointment too for y'all that's probably watching this, like, why is dumbass? <laughs> got to the doctor, he's just sitting there in pain. Yeah. You know, Ooh. The VA hospital, I don't got a doctor's appointment until the thirteenth. But of yeah. April. Yeah, but if I'm if I'm in pain in the morning, y'all, I'm gonna go to the emergency room. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm definitely taking. He making he's making all types of noises. I'm definitely. This is my brother though. I'm today. Oh, Next topic. <laughs> oh my god. Next topic. Shit, that is it. Tell me if you want a burger set. Damn. Drug is set. Oh, and college basketball. We ain't talking about that, the NCAA. NCAA. What was he about to say, NAACP? I was saying it too fast. I forgot to see it, and I was saying NCAA. NCAA men's tournament has started. The women's tournament starts Sunday. The favorites are for the final four, Michigan, Illinois. I like Illinois. I got Michigan. I'm scared. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna make it to the Sweet 16, and that's it. Well, I say Final Four. They're missing no. that key player, man. They're missing a key player. They're gonna get the Sweet 16. Shout out Michigan State bombs. Y'all lost on the Final Four year and day. Um, yeah, we sucked this year. Oh my God. We. We suck this year. Say it again. That's the only time you hear me say that. God. We beat y'all this year, though. So. What the fuck? Where y'all at now? It don't matter. At the crib? Y'all will be, <laughs> be there soon. Y'all get an extra couple of weeks to play, then y'all will be there. Yeah, we will, but right now, you know. We'll... Yeah, y'all watching us. Watching Hell to the For victors. once? Hell to the victors. For once, it's, it's weird to see you guys still in the tournament and us not. Hold on. And basketball. Hold up. Come Wait on, we the basketball what, powerhouse. What? Don't act uh, like state, not the basketball what, powerhouse. What? what how far did State go last year? Y'all went to two Final I Fours and lost. We made the Sweet We went to last. two Final Fours and, and lost. lost. Y'all We got a there. national championship in basketball. Look, you you don't. Don't, don't. Don't argue with State fans. You man. don't. They always bring up when they last time they you won the don't. State right. championship. Right. That's that's all they fucking Al Bundy right, stories. Right. That's all y'all do. Fucking Al Bundy stories. Got, I remember that tag. I remember back in the day. There's not a This is probably the first year... Izzo go to the postseason every year, damn near. But you gotta remember, we got the greatest, one of the you greatest. Gotta remember, if Michigan was not uh, barred from the NCAA tournaments, uh, <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody tell you all to steal. No damn! Money. Oh, come on, man! I ain't stole shit. Right. Ain't nobody tell y'all take money either. Blame Chris Webber. Don't blame me. I'm in pain. Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, you know, nigga did it. <laughs> what you want, bitch? <laughs> oh well, fuck it. I was hey. It's documented, bro. <laughs> oh. 
So, I guess we're done. I don't know what the fuck this nigga doing. My back hurt, dog, and I couldn't sit down, you know. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry, dog. I know I'm on, on, on the microphone, but I'm in pain. Well, anybody got any stories? Oh, listen. Back to the stimmies. No, I take that back. You fucking restaurant workers have you bad sure, etiquette. Bad etiquette. I went to McDonald's uh, the other day. A girl had a poor attitude. Attitude was horrible. Then I get to get my food. Female had on a motherfucking bonnet. A bonnet. Can we leave the dude rags at the house? Because they're, 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 they're... Where's you going? I'm off the mic. I took my mic off. So I can't hear you. I'm still loud. We have you hear me? Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> I turned my mic off. <laughs> All right. Shit. Because I'm in pain. Man. I understand. No, you've been walking around and like you can't sit still. They're going to be like, that nigga high. Well, he ain't high. But this is the first time. Dang. Shit. Trey. I'm still mad at this bitch ass. He ain't hey, out. I'm about to come over there. Me and Ronte. <laughs> as soon as I'm done. Damn, man. You cut that hair. You ain't cut my hair. I'm going to fuck you up. You got me walking around looking like this. Come here, baby boy. What? Are we still filming? No, never mind. Your hair ain't braided. You stay over there. Hey, you hey, but he don't take your shit. Huh? Nothing. You nothing. I'm about to tell you. Shit. Come on, but your hair ain't braided. Ain't about to embarrass me. Because I had to go get a haircut the other night. We didn't want to cut nobody's hair. Are you still recording? Yeah, but I'm gonna do that. Alright, bitch, I pay you all the You know what? I'm sick of this shit. What was I talking about? Oh, the bonnet. Uh, yeah, I'm but bad. they gotta. They, my man. Yeah. I got something I wanna say, I wanna talk about real quick, too. Yeah, so but need. yeah, y'all need to get y'all attitudes together at these restaurants, and y'all do not deserve 15 motherfucking dollars an hour. You can't say that. And then y'all, and I say that, and I worked at McDonald's for years. I feel like they do. No, fuck that. And How the fuck you, everything... you, and you fuck up on, on an order. I ordered some shit, and I done drove out, and I got the wrong shit. You know why I ain't got I'm no... too hungry to take the shit back. You know why I ain't got no problem with getting 15 dollars an hour? Two reasons, right? One. The economy, if the prices in the economy go up, they still can be making nine, ten dollars an hour and expecting to take care of their family. Mm-hmm. Two, these niggas at the plants get drunk, smoke weed, fuck cars up and roll them off the lot. Allegedly. Every day, Allegedly. And we still buy them. So Allegedly. They fuck your shit up just as much as the nigga at McDonald's fuck your shit up. It wouldn't be no recalls if it was allegedly. Well, I'm pretty sure they need to recall motherfucking that, that, your order. Yeah, you can go back and get your Should shit. Should be fixed. fucked up. And speaking of that, a dude asked me, because I work for a certain company, and he asked me how come I'm driving that vehicle and Drake why I got... from Burma, that's the dude with the car. Yeah. Can you answer that? Just to see what he wants. Yeah. Because he, come, he want me to pick up the car. I'm yeah. going to call him back. Just tell him. We, we'll, we'll be there in a minute. You, you tell him. You talk to him. Hello? Why don't you put it on speakerphone? This nigga here. Hello? Hello? Are you on your way? Yeah, we're yeah, we about to be on our way in a minute, Dre. We, uh, yeah. All right, bro. All right. Yeah. Come get your yeah, shit. Yeah, we got old hill rat niggas. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, this is what I want to talk about. Crazy, toxic women, right? I just went through some of the craziest shit in my life this past week. Um, she watched this show, and I don't give a fuck if she watched this and she hear me say this. You are wrong on me. Listen, that being crazy shit is not cute, okay? Don't do it. Don't think if a man don't want to fuck with you and then you come do some crazy shit... That's gonna mysteriously make him change his mind and be like, ooh, that bitch came over here and bust my tire. She loved me for real. I'm a fuck. No. Nobody wants a crazy woman. Nobody wants toxic. That shit is not healthy for you. And being crazy don't get you back in a relationship or with the person that you was fucking with. So, with all that being said, women, don't be the crazy. And excuse me, I don't mean no harm when I say this. Don't be the crazy bitch. Be the, the young lady, the woman that a man wants to date, and then y'all got problems. You communicate. Don't get mad if y'all got company and y'all drinking, and he don't go get no beer because he he kind of messed up, and you get an attitude about some beer. Don't be the crazy woman. Be the woman that's crazy for him. If y'all get what I'm saying, don't let that go over y'all head. This has been Sleazio's advice for the day. Don't be the crazy one. They, can, they can't see that, sir.
Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, y'all. But he is. Don't nobody like that toxic shit. I went through it. I'm pretty sure everybody has had some type of toxic toxic relationship. Don't be a crazy bitch. Man, don't be a crazy Negro either. Because these girls out here, they y'all moving like men. Y'all move like men. Y'all can hold on, my mans. Y'all can fuck the shit out of a man and eliminate that nigga the same way we can do a female. Some of these niggas can't take it. I can. I'm I'm flat out. I'm oh, he go shit, bitch. That shit is fucking <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. But that's three strikes when dog he hit big worm. He ain't talking about hitting a female. We don't need that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna punch you. If you be toxic. You can't hurt me. Put your hands on me. My mama tell me to fight back. No, I said, just kick him in the coochie. Uh, that shit don't hurt. Them bitches got coochies and steel. Shit, some of them do. Kick a bitch well, some of them don't. Kick them right in the coochie. Some of them get turned on by that shit. Like, oh, some women yeah. get turned on by that toxic shit. You that hit the button shit. for the crazy bitch to come. For real. They be, like they be turned on by that shit, dog. Hey, don't kill me, though, because I still want to live my life, but you crazy. <laughs> this nigga retarded. All right, I'm done. Because yeah, I got to get up. I don't, this is I don't. My, the fuck is wrong with my son? I don't know, but he, <laughs> he tripping. He your son? Damn. So you know, he a little right there in him. Yeah. This has been another episode. Man, if you don't get your motherfucking hand off me, my man, I ain't like I'm seducing you or nothing. I just grabbed your arm. No man. means no. Now y'all see this shit. No means no. Now I'm about to sue your ass. Your underarms are sweaty because my knuckle wet. That's from your underarm. Why are you mad at me? Because you rub it on me. But I'm rubbing my underarm. Your underarm swept back on your shirt off my knuckle. As y'all can see, this is this this has what you it's know. Been what? another episode of the Naturally Funny Entertainment Podcast. I am one of your co-hosts with the most brost key <laughs> at Street Mafia underscore Big underscore Sleezo. On Instagram at lboogie31304. On what the fuck the is wrong with my boy? With, um, you can follow me on all of those. God damn, making them damn weird ass noises. Naturally underscore funny underscore ent underscore. You can follow this young black man here at Durante Jenkins. Uh, Facebook. That's my name. Ain't no extra That's shit my mama behind name. it. T. Ron T. Jenkins on Instagram. <laughs> Virgo Rock on, uh, on Snapchat. Snapchat. And uh, yeah, we love and appreciate you guys for fucking with us. We Ron T. be selling news. And we ain't doing, Ron we getting be better. But I wish y'all get these views up because the last couple of episodes, we putting in fucking work out here. We really are. And we getting better. And most of these motherfuckers that, that really got these platforms, they got platforms. We starting off from the bottom, literally, straight out the mud. Straight out the mud. Instagram. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all better jump on this motherfucker bandwagon while you can. If you got any products you want to um, wanna uh, advertise or some shit, come fuck with us. We will gladly advertise it, maybe for... On okay. I don't... Nigga, what the fuck? You fucking me up. But if you got anything you want to advertise, tap in with us. We were advertising. If you're looking for somebody to take photos or whatever, Easter's coming up, you can tap in with this young man. Bring your ass over here because I told you. Wait, cover that up. No, see, I got too much drip. Yeah. He got too hey, much drip. Daryl you... Brown Photography, if you're looking for pictures, if you're trying to model, if you're trying to model, you holler at my man. So you probably put his number in that shit, whatever, whatever. And, and, and if you're a female, we need a female... Co-host, we need a female's opinion, and, and you I can't mean, be. I'm not gonna say ugly, but you, you have to be. You, you have to be say? appealing to the eye. Why you want me to say it? With a tattoo on your boobies. Why you want we me like tattoos, boobies. We and like I'm them. looking for a midget. You know, I do. Is that bad? Oh <laughs> shit, man! <laughs> for Fuck. real, for a photo shoot. <laughs> oh okay. Small person. Little people. There you go. I give you a big me. A what? <laughs> <All right. laughs>